Right, Shalom, Mishra, for the staff as always, by giving all praise to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, double honors to the Apostle of GMS, and honors to you, brothers, by doing the work in truth, while sincerity. I just uh, actually saw this in the newspaper yesterday, and uh, never had time to do a, a, you know, a video on it, but it came up again on RT, right, and it's a, basically, it's a sign of things to come. You know, it's, it's just the most high, uh, you know, just, just giving a foreshadowing of things to come. So this is like a, you know, a atomic blast from Mother Nature, as it, as it says there in the title. You know, and hey man, it couldn't be close to the truth. I mean, when you look at that, bam, you know, that's a mushroom cloud and a half. Man, you know, you got, you got that, you know, the uh, orange background and everything, but... When this actually does happen, it's going to be immense and it's going to be um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This is uh, Revelation 18 and 18. It says, Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord power who judgeth her, and the kings of the earth who have committed for fornication. So, so let me get into that. So therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning. Right, because in here it says um in one hour, and that's a literal hour as well. Um, you know, America will be completely destroyed. It says, and it shall be utterly burned with fire, utterly. Right, for strong is the Lord power who judges judges that. Because well, when you read Jeremiah the sixteenth chapter, what does it say? It says, um, you know, no longer no Jeremiah sixteen and fifteen says, no longer shall be shall it shall Yahweh be referred to as Yahweh that brought the children of Israel out of Egypt, but how that brings up the children of Israel out of the land of the north, which is uh, would you call it, which is um, referring to America, right? Um, it says, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with and lived deliciously with her because why America is the biggest consumers, man. If you can sell to America, you know, you're, you're good, really and truly. Shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. This is talking about the destruction, you know, somewhat you know, pictured here, you know, beautifully pictured here, right, it says, uh, you know, that, uh, it says, what's well, like, well, it says, standing afar off of the fear of a torment, saying, alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city, for one, in one hour is thy judgment come, right, it says, and the merchant of the earth shall weep and mourn over for no man, um, for, for no man buyeth a merchandise anymore, because, you know, the nation is going to be pissed, and like, damn, who's going to buy all our goods? Right, that's, that's some major market going out of the business. Right, this is Jeremiah 50, starting from 3. So, for out of the north, now this time the north is referring to Russia. Right, when you look on a map, um, you know, on, on, on a properly scaled map, because the majority of maps that you see aren't scaled properly, you know, it's just it's what happens when you put a you know a spherical object into a into a two a 3D spherical object into a 2D plane. You know, you could also argue it's Esau, because when you look at some of the nations he made bigger. You know, it's, it's it's but you could argue that it's also an Esau power play, right? But when you look at a proper map with a correctly proportional, you actually see that um, Russia is also a land of the north as well. It says which shall make a land desolate, and none shall dwell that dwell therein. Because why? Well, if you know, if you've got, you know, could you say a hundred million missiles? I believe it says if you've got a hundred million missiles dropping on America, that's going to lay the land waste. It's going to completely destroy it, right? And no one will be able to live there again. And why is because, uh, what do you call it, the, the Most High is going to set that up as a monument. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah was the old monument. Because what the scripture says, it shall be uh, remembered for those that should live ungodly. Why? But Esau didn't want to take heed to that. He still lived, he's, he's, he's gone worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Right? So why? that's going to be a reminder you know, forever, that this is what happens when you do wicked, this is what happens when you let transgenders and women have rights, and all of that, all of that bullshit, right, when we jump to uh, verse 12, it says, your mother uh, shall be so confounded, that's referring to England, one, because how, you know, how did America, the miracle that we know, start, you know, started by, you know, people from England going over there, this, that, and the other, and that's why you had uh, you, that's why you have July Fourth, uh, which I believe um you know that's Independence Day, but then that's when uh, that's when I believe they got independence from England, uh, commemorating the day they got independence from England. It says your mother shall be so confounded, she that bear you shall be ashamed. Behold, the hindermost 
of the nation shall be a wilderness, a dry land, and the desert. Because of the wrath of Yahweh, it shall not be inhabited. That's what I was referring to earlier. But it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Right. Put yourselves in array against Babylon round about. All ye that bend the bow. And what's that talking about? It's talking about missiles. Right, because when you look at the trajectory, so the path that an ICBM follows, it looks like the path that an arrow would follow comes up, does an arch, comes back into orbit, and then hits its target to shoot at her. Spare no arrows. Right, so all of those ICBMs that they got, they're going to be launched, man. It says, for she hath sinned against Yahweh. Right, which Yahweh is the real name of the Lord. Right, it's Job 20, and his son's name is Yahweh Shah, if I'm not mentioning it, that, you know. So this is Job 20 and 24 says, He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn, it is come out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Right, um, gall? I don't know, no, no, I don't, don't, don't want to say that, I'm not too sure what that means, I think I know what I mean, obviously. It says, terrors are upon him, as in that, that word there, gall, I was thinking, um, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's talking about um, the silos, but I don't, I don't fully remember that, so don't quote me. It says, "Yay, the glittering sword." Now, what's that glittering sword? That's talking about the ICBM, right? Because especially when you, for instance, just as an example, if it's a bright sunny day and you look up into the sky, you see some planes. And the way they reflect from the sun, they look, you know, they glitter literally. It says, um, the terrors are upon him. It says, all darkness shall be hid in the secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. And what's that talking about? It's talking about nuclear fire. Because all fires um, need a fuel and oxygen, right? But nuclear fire doesn't, because why? It's that chain reaction. It says, it shall go ill with him that is left in this tabernacle. Right? And we're going to end with Isaiah 24 and 20. It says, the earth shall roll to and fro like a drunkard. Right, that so that's that's all of those missiles that are gonna be hitting, man. That's all of those missiles that are gonna be hitting hitting this world. You know, shall roll real to and fro like a drunkard and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it, and it shall fall and not rise again. Right? You know, so you know this is just, you know, Moesai being funny, man, in truth. You know, a cloud that looks like a you know, that looks like a mushroom cloud over 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 Arizona. I don't know how common this is but hey man in that day you know so you know scripture says spare no arrows man you know London's gonna get hit Russia's gonna get hit but America's gonna get destroyed man those nukes weren't there for show man those nukes weren't created just to sit in the museum as as you know as apostles on down have always said but, you know before I start Rambling on, you know, I'm just going to say shit on one.